charts are an effective way of visually showing information. In this video, I'm going to talk about the skills you'll need to read and analyze charts on the ACT Science section. The first thing to remember when you're reading charts is that the information isn't always presented in a linear fashion. In other words, the data isn't always given in an ascending or descending order. For example, in this table, the numbers in the middle column decrease as you move down the chart, but the numbers in the right column aren't in any order. Another thing to remember is that the columns of two similar charts in a passage don't always line up. The information in the column in one chart may be different in the column of a similar chart. As you can see in this example, the coding column in Table 2 is split into two coding columns in Table 3. You may find some of the terms in the data unfamiliar. Don't be intimidated. You'll be able to find the answer without a full understanding of what the data means. For example, you don't need to know what colonic arrival means in this chart to be able to answer questions about the values in the chart. All you have to know is where to find the data they're looking for. Another skill the ACT may test you on is your ability to interpolate data. Interpolate means to insert new data between established values on a chart or graph. Let's try an interpolation problem. According to Table 2, the average metabolic rate at a temperature of 20 degrees would most likely be closest to F30 degrees, G22 degrees, H18 degrees, and J is 10 degrees. Since we're looking for the metabolic rate when the temperature is 20 degrees, we should look between the values of 10 degrees and 25 degrees. The metabolic rate at 10 degrees is 25, and the rate at 25 degrees is 20, so the rate for 20 degrees should fall between these values. Therefore, our best choice is choice G, 22 degrees. That question was a good example of an interpolation question. Another skill you may be tested on is your ability to extrapolate. Remember, extrapolate means to extend or expand known data by assuming the continuation of existing trends. You may need to make some simple calculations to find values when you extrapolate, but you won't need your calculator. Let's go back to our chart. Based on Table 2, which of the following would most likely be the average metabolic rate at 50 degrees? A, 30, B, 21, C, 17, and D is 10. Since the chart doesn't provide a value at 50 degrees, we have to extrapolate one based on the trend of the chart. You can see that as the temperature increases, the metabolic rate decreases. The highest temperature on the chart is 40 degrees, and it has a metabolic rate of 15. Since 50 degrees falls below 40 on the chart, and there's an inverse relationship between temperature and metabolic rate, we know it needs to be less than 15. So our only choice is D, 10 degrees. Charts can help you quickly see connections that can lead you to logical conclusions. Knowing how to read them will come in handy for you on the ACT and in your everyday life.